Hello, thank you for joining my page. This is Ryan with Davis XL Solutions. In this video, I'll be walking through an inventory management solution. So I picked a very simple example uh, that will give you an idea of how I think about inventory management. And so the, the biggest thing for me to figure out is what is your economic order quantity, the EOQ, and that answers a very important question, which is how much should you order? The reality is there's a complicated balance between um, ordering too much, ordering too little, what's the right amount. Uh, and what this equation does is it finds out based upon the your, your sales trends in the flow of um, how quickly your inventory can get to you and the cost of that uh, and figures out exactly how much you should order right so it's not just about your demand but it's also about the cost of ordering that inventory and so in this example it, i'm going to be walking you through a pen manufacturing company where its annual sales for the year is forty thousand the item costs them five thousand oh, excuse me five dollars and the ordering cost is one thousand so here I've just kind of detailed that information. The only thing that's not um, included in the above is the carrying cost, which is needed to calculate the holding cost. Uh, so holding cost takes into account how much the product is worth uh, or rather how much you paid for the product. Um, and then the carrying cost, which is for Davis Exo Solutions, we picked 15% as the standard. Um, we just based on you know research we feel as though 15 percent is that right amount but that can be adjusted if you would prefer to have a, a higher or lower carrying cost we could talk through that and so then the annual demand is forty thousand and so what this equation then reveals is um and you, i don't, hid the formula bar but there's obviously a formula within the cell that tells us that our EOQ is 10,328. And so just to go into what that actually means in more detail, let's say this is the same information you saw earlier. Let's say that you were to order 1,000, 5,000, so forth, all the way to saying, hey, I'm just gonna order all 40,000 right up front because I know based on my sales trends that I should have, I should sell all 40,000 by the end of the year. So conventional wisdom would say, hey, I'm just gonna buy it all up front and that should, that should be the cheapest thing. But as it starts calculating, you'll see all the way to your right is the annual total cost so obviously you want to keep the cost as low as possible while still being able to meet your demand. So your demand in this example is 40,000. So you wanna meet that demand. Uh, and so the annual cost has to be low while still selling 40,000. So you'll see what is the lowest number and it starts going, if you only ordered a thousand, because the ordering cost is a thousand dollars per order, you're gonna end up spending $40,000 on, on just the order cost, right? And then there's a, a holding cost uh, that's pretty cheap because you, know, you only have a thousand units in the store at any given time, so it's pretty cheap. But however, the, your annual total cost is going to be super high so the lowest number on this example is ten thousand which makes perfect sense because the eoq told us that the right amount is ten thousand three hundred and twenty eight so this just confirms that the eoq is right because it adds up your annual order cost adds up your holding cost gets the total cost and then we can just eyeball it and see which is the lowest number if you look here to the right of the graph, the graph is great because it illustrates what's happening. So your holding cost is going up as you are ordering or as you have more inventory in your store, 
right? Makes perfect sense. The more stuff you have in your store, the higher the holding cost would be. And then the red line is calculating the order cost. So how often are you ordering something? The more you order, the less your ordering cost is going to be. So if you look over here at the chart, you order all 40,000. Well, you only ordered once. So that's only gonna cost you $1,000. But the most important thing is the black line, which is the total cost. And so you'll see it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. It hits a point to where it pivots, boop. And then the lowest point is right here and then it starts spiking back up, right? And so you want to have the lowest cost while meeting your demand. And so if we look at the graph, the lowest point within that black line is right around that $10,000, uh, excuse me, 10,000 uh, quantity. And so it just, again, it proves that economic order quantity formula is accurate because even if we charted it one by one and then threw up a graph, we can see with our own eyes what the cheapest cost would be. We can see with our own eyes what the lowest part of the graph would be. And so we can confirm that that is actually the right number. And that's the power of data. That's the power of math. That's power of analytics. It is, is by nature very exact and very precise. And the more data you have, the more precise you can get. Obviously, um, if your unit cost decreases as you order more, which is very normal, when you're ordering more, you usually get a, a better discount. That was not baked into this example, but again, I just wanted to provide something super simple. But I could easily just move this over to the right and then put down the unit cost associated with that particular volume. So if it's $5 for uh, 1,000, but for 40,000, it's $2.75. Well, that changes your annual cost and that's gonna change this graph. So again, at the more precise the data, the more precise uh, and exact the solution and the answer will be to solve your problem. So the other thing is the EOQ answered how much you should order, but the reorder point, um, which is there's a reorder formula, helps you to answer when should you order. So at what point should you order? And this isn't even a problem if your inventory is coming across the street, right? Because you can just, you need more, you walk over the, across the street, you get more, you walk back. But the reality is there is processes in place whenever you are ordering more of your inventory. So at what point should you order? Because if it takes five days to get there, then you have to do some math to figure out, well, at what point should I purchase to ensure that I don't run out, but I get it right at the exact time to ensure that I don't miss um, servicing my customers, but also without having too much inventory for no reason, right? And so that when you should order, so the reorder point formula and the EOQ, how much you should order, work together to save your business money without sacrificing customer experience. And so this is huge for businesses with tons and tons and tons of SKUs and a lot of inventory and a lot of, a lot of moving pieces. And again, this is a simplified example, but I would love, and I don't even calculate the reorder point in this example, but I do have a Walmart example, as I mentioned before, which I do calculate the reorder point. And if you give me a call, write me an email, we can set up some time, I'll walk you through that. It is of no cost for us to just talk. In fact, there is everything is free um, until we actually draft up a contract and, and sign on the dotted lines of what I'll be able to perform for you. But if you just wanna talk strategy, if you just wanna talk ideas, if you wanna just talk through more of what the formula is, um, I'd be happy to do that. It's all about helping you. 
Uh, it's not just about, um, you know, necessarily signing more people up, um, but it's about helping the overall Detroit small business community. And so, you know, contact me. I'd, I'd, I'd love to talk more. Uh, thank you for taking time to listen to this video and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.